I have no motivation. Hey, howdy, hey, Trainwreck, how are you today? I am the glorious Trainwreck Mom, and I'm here to tell y'all, it ain't getting done today. Like, seriously, I have zero, zero cares to give today. <laughs> I have no motivation. I have been, <clears throat> I'm in a bunch of YouTube groups on Facebook, and a lot of what we do, we, you know, put our video there, and then we watch a couple more just, you know, to be fair and everything, you know, it's a, it's a good practice. I really like it. And I've been watching a lot of these lovely ladies, lovely moms, and their speed cleaning routines, and their, you know, nightly routines, their morning routines. And I have a morning routine video, too. I'll throw a card somewhere for that when I get to it. And I'm just like, no, <laughs> no. I'm tired, yo. Seriously. The bags under my eyes would be Prada if I could afford Prada. For real? Oh my god. I'm just like, no, I don't wanna. I think that's what it just comes down to. I'm 40 now. I don't wanna. Don't wanna can't make me. I'm just so tired. Like, I work 40 hours. A lot of these girls that I'm watching, God bless their hearts, are stay-at-home moms. And trust me, I know. I did that for four years. <laughs> that is a job it's not just a job it is laundry and dishes and keeping the kids entertained and educating them and you know keeping them alive you're a cook you're a counselor you're a, a bodyguard you're a chauffeur you're everything on top of you know you gotta take care of you too that never happens nope dude i work 40 hours a week at a preschool. <laughs> I'm mom for eight to ten hours a day there, and then I come home and I do it all over again. Oh, I am never away from four-year-olds ever. ever. And it's a little exhausting. So yeah, by the time I get home, I really don't feel like doing my laundry, folding my laundry, I bribed my kid this weekend. I bribed the 14 year old. I told her I'd give her 20 bucks to go to a haunted house with her friend if she did the dishes and folded the laundry. I'm not above bribery. I'm not proud of it, but I'm not above it. it it's going to happen again. I can tell you probably in two weeks when I get paid again. I'm not proud of it. They ask you how you are. You just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. But you just can't get into it because they. And I'm sure there's some weird unspoken law or rule somewhere that says that I'm supposed to care about this. I'm supposed to care that when my mother-in-law came over yesterday bearing gifts for me and a cake and everything that I should have had my floor vacuum. Yeah, that didn't happen. Not even close. I'm sure there's some law that's supposed to say that my dishwasher's supposed to be empty right now or filled with dirty dishes to get washed. Yeah, that's not happening. I'm sure there's something that says that I should probably do my laundry because most of it's my work clothes because we have to wear a uniform. Yeah, that might get done today. And by get done, I mean it might get into the washer. And by tomorrow morning when I wake up, it might wind its way up into the dryer. It also might just wind up being a shirt and a pair of jeans, uh, or my slacks for work, going in the dryer tomorrow morning. I'm just tired, guys. I'm... <laughs> I see these girls and they're like, oh yes, I'm so tired at the end of the night. You're cleaning your house at nine o'clock at night. I watched one video where a girl was vacuuming her daughter's bedrooms at 9.30 at night. What the hell? A, uh-uh. Oh, oh hell no, first no. of all, first of all, the only vacuum that runs at 9.30 at night is my Roomba. And y'all know I love my Roomba. I'll throw a, a card thing in for that. Love my Roomba. Oh my god, if you don't have a Roomba, get a Roomba. 
I'll throw I'll throw that into the comments, but the link of what I bought because I love it so much. I love it. But I digress. See, right now I should probably be concerned that my cat's chasing a bug on my floor. There's just no motivation today. I would love to hear what you guys do to motivate yourselves. What do you do? Especially the moms that, like, these wonderful individuals who have the time to bake the 48 cupcakes, each individually iced with cute little sprinkles for the Halloween parties that are coming up. I would love to hear how you have the time to wake up, make sure your entire family is fed and dressed and appropriate looking before they walk out the door and so that your house doesn't wind up looking like this. Now, this is not so bad. Yeah, you see that table. That table right there. That table is the bane of my existence. It was only supposed to have a cute little Halloween uh, village on it. One tree, one house. Be kind of cute to have something like that. No. It's got my purple clickety-clack typewriter uh, laptop thingy. It's got several notebooks and a bunch of mail that isn't for us. I just can't seem to find the motivation. <sighs> if you ever have those moments, I would love to hear about them. Go ahead, throw those into the comments. While you're at it, give me a like, a share, a comment, a subscribe. Go ahead and hit that little bell so that you can see this on a regular basis if you're motivated to. Eh, it's whatever. That's all I've got for today, Trainwrecks. All aboard!